It said babies come from when a man and a woman love each other and they snuggle up in bed and then they get closer and closer until the man is inside the woman. This is called sex and this is how babies are made. And then it had this whole section of like, what does sex feel like? And it said, it feels like being tickled by a feather, but nicer. And then the next question was, well, if sex feels so nice, why don't people have it all the time? And the answer was, well, sex is kind of like jumping rope. It's really fun, but you get tired after a while. Do you feel like that was like a good way to explain sex to like a young kid? Um, I don't know if I would personally use those metaphors. Luckily, it sounds like that was a more positive way than many people learn about sex. We want to be inclusive, right? We know that not all parents are a man and a woman. So that's right there. Yeah. I think what we would what we would nix maybe. And maybe it's something as simple like, hey, inside someone with a penis's body, there's a thing called sperm. And inside someone with a uterus's body is an egg. In order to make a baby, the sperm meets the egg and that after 10 months or whatever you want to say, grows into a baby. If they're five, they're probably not going to be interested in all of this. Whatever they're soaking in, you know, the simple thing, a baby really comes from a sperm and an egg meeting and that grows into a baby. The classic thing of like, oh, your baby's in your in your stomach, it's in your belly. Well, it might look like that, but the baby actually grows in the uterus. Really simple ways to just be factual.